Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy High School is dedicated to the formation of tomorrow's leaders through a Roman Catholic experience that provides excellence in atmosphere, academics, the arts, and athletics. Our vision is to be one of the most innovative, influential, and accomplished Roman Catholic schools in the nation. Today is April 4th, Monday of the fifth week of Lent and the memorial of St. Isidore of Seville, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, who lived from 560 to 636. He was Bishop of Seville for 27 years, a preeminent scholar of his time and caretaker of the poor. An amazingly learned man, he was sometimes called the schoolmaster of the Middle Ages because the encyclopedia he wrote was used as a textbook for nine centuries. He was named the patron saint of the internet by Pope John Paul II due to his emphasis on education. Saint Isidore also has two brothers and a sister who are also recognized as saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty and eternal God, you created us in your image and called us to seek all that is good, true, and beautiful. Through the intercession of Saint Isidore, Bishop and Doctor, help us as we journey through the internet to direct our hands and eyes only to that which is pleasing to you. Help us to treat all those we encounter online with charity, patience, and respect. Grant us the wisdom to endure that our digital creations and communications reflect all that we believe and the gospel values that we share. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please turn to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Roberts, and happy Friday. My name is Lauren Kim. I'm Chris Rosado. My name is Jessica Bowlby. I'm Riley Wolf. And I'm Tori Welch. Today is... Good morning, Mavericks, and happy Monday. My name is Lauren Kim. And I'm Hannah Young. Today is April 4th, and we will be running on a regular A through J period schedule. Welcome to a special Senior Takeover Special of Mav News. That's right. All this week, we will be having our seniors anchor leading up to Grad Bash in honor of Senior Week. So for today's show, it's a President and VP Takeover. Yep, and we've loved being a part of this club through the years. Fun fact, it's actually how we met, and now we're besties. Are we? Anyways, getting into school news, we want to start off by congratulating the cast and crew of You Are a Good Man, Charlie Brown, on a successful weekend of performances. Thank you to all the Mavericks that came out to support the production. It was such a phenomenal show. You just had to be there. Before we continue into school news, let's check out some entertainment with Olivia. Good morning, Mavericks. Welcome to Entertainment, your Monday morning source for entertainment news. I'm Olivia Torre, and let's get right into it. We definitely need to kick off the show with some coverage of the Oscars. The Oscars is one of the most watched and celebrated evenings of the year, when Hollywood's finest descend the red carpet and later take to the seats to learn who has impressed the Academy in this year's film offerings. There are many notable red carpet looks and wins throughout the evening, and I highly encourage you all to check them out. Also, the door to Harry's house is opening. Last week, the singer dropped a brand new single, As It Was. The song is indie pop, inspired a company with lyrics about the temptation to look back while being forced to move ahead. Harry had one word to describe the song when prompted by Rolling Stone on Instagram stories last week. Bop. I couldn't agree more. And I am looking forward to the full album on May 20th. For all my cheer fans, cheer star Morgan Simonier is a bride to be. The former Navarro cheerleader announced via Instagram on Monday that her boyfriend, Son Burleson, Pop the question in Dallas, Texas over, over the weekend. Cheer is a Netflix show which follows the Navarro cheer team throughout their season while they prepare to compete in cheer competitions against other colleges. Season 1 and 2 are already out and it is possible that the third season is already filming and will be released in late 2022 or early 2023. 
In music news, this weekend is a three-day Tortuga Music Festival in Fort Lauderdale. The festival sold out fairly quickly. The weekend will be filled with music on the beach from various artists like Nelly, Morgan Wallen, Luke Combs, and Thomas Rhett. I am so excited and can't wait to see so many of my favorite artists. Continuing on the topic of mu music news, We Don't Talk About Bruno from the hit movie Encanto is still at the top of the Billboard Hot 100. Fans can't get enough of the song, and it also appears that Northwest, Kim Kardashian's daughter, can't get enough of it either. Let's check out this clip. We don't talk about Bruno. We Don't Talk About Bruno has gone vi viral around the world since the release of Lin-Manuel Miranda's movie. And though the popular song was not nominated for an Oscar at this year's Academy Awards, another song from the movie was nominated, and the movie scored the ultimate win, Best Animated Film. Well, that's all we have for today's show. I'm Olivia, and I'll see you next week. Thanks, Olivia. Switching gears to school news, seniors, the Office of College Advisement wants to celebrate you. If you have already decided where you will be going to college next year and would like to be featured on social media in our Senior Spotlight posts, scan the QR code on screen and complete the submission form. If you have questions, please email Ms. Hall at chall at mccarthyhigh.org. Also, make sure to complete the graduation survey in your Naviance account. Please log into Naviance to complete this survey with your college acceptances and scholarships. They need this information in order to send your final transcripts to the colleges. If you are still unsure of your final college decision, there is still time. Remember that you have until May 1st. Please contact your college advisor with any questions. And congratulations to the following teams on celebrating their senior night, boys and girls tennis teams and the girls softball team. And we also want to show some love to the boys varsity baseball team, as last Wednesday they had a recent win at the Marlins Stadium during the Field of Dreams game. Go Mavericks! It may be senior week, but we also want to highlight the class of 2023, who recently received their junior rings and celebrated with the Mass. We wish you luck as you rise up to be the next leaders of the school. Now let's move on to weather with Jessica Bowlby. Good morning, Mavericks, and happy Monday. For today's weather, we're going to be experiencing cloudy skies with a few showers with a high of 81 with a 53% chance of rain. So you better carry an umbrella with you. For Tuesday, we're going to be experiencing a bit of sunshine with partly cloudy skies with a high of 84 degrees and a 22% chance of rain. Wednesday, we're having a few afternoon clouds, but mostly sunny skies with a high of 84% and a 24% chance of rain. Thursday, we're experiencing mostly sunny skies with a high of 87 and a 24% chance of rain, which is very similar to Wednesday. And finally, for Friday, we are going to be having showers during the morning and afternoon with a high of 83 degrees and a 34% chance of rain. Well, that's all for today's forecast. I'm Jessica, and have a sunny day, Mavs. Thanks, Jessica. And that's all we have for today's show, Mavericks. I'm Hannah. And I'm Lauren. Have a great day, Mavericks, and happy Senior Week.